to take children and chopping off their heads. His head was chopped off. Cutting babies' heads off. Remember Joe Biden's infamous lie about seeing pictures of beheaded babies on October 7th? I've been doing this a long time. I never really thought that I would see and have confirmed pictures of terrorists beheading children. Mehdi Hassan and Bassem Youssef, on their latest show on ZDO, began brutally mocking the Zionist lies about baby killings on October 7th. Horrible things have happened, and yet for some reason, I can't imagine why, Israeli military, Israeli officials, some journalists, and the American government decide to make shit up. In my mind, it will always live the testimony of Antony Blinken, the highest ranking US official in front of Congress, when he described this scene about a group of Hamas terrorists went in, raped the woman, cut off her breast, gouged the eyes of the father, amputated the limb of the daughter, and cut off and then, the finger of the little child, and then they sat down having breakfast. Who have the luxury to do that in a war zone? And also, where's the IDF during all of that? So we are supposed that to story be- was, That actually had, no, that story was, was debunked. That, that is the story that actually primed the world to accept and turn a blind eye for the, uh, the horrible killing of it. But I have a few questions. First of all, that guy, Anthony Blinken, never apologized for that. No. Nope. This was actually refuted many, 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 many times, even by the Israeli media themselves. Yep. And he never went, took it back. And also, as a doctor, you know how hard it is to cut into breast tissue, into human tissue using a box cutter? Like, is, is it, like, it. like, like you guys, like, are we f***ing stupid? Are you talking to little kids? Even bedtime stories are more believable than this. So on the subject of believable, unbelievable stories, the big one was babies beheaded. Yeah. 40 of them. Yes. And Joe Biden saw pictures. He said, so and when the White House was asked, what about the pictures? Yeah, they walked it back. So it was this, so what I get is, and we're going to talk a little bit about Zaka. But Biden lies the whole By the way, let's talk about Zaka, by the way, in context. So there's a group called Zaka, for those of you who don't know, religious volunteers, ultra-Orthodox who turn up at crime scenes, tragedies, natural disasters, collect bodies, try and get them ready for Jewish burials. But they end up wrecking crime scenes. They're not credible organizations when it comes to their testimonies. The founder of Zaka, ironically, the group that has spread so many stories about dead babies and sexual violence. He committed suicide a few years ago when he was accused of mass child rape. They have a long history of being accused by Israeli media of trying to fundraise off of atrocities. And their volunteers came up with a lot of outlandish stories. A lot of stories, you know, the ones you mentioned, etc., come from Zaka and another group called United Hatzalah. And Zaka is a group that has been caught again and again, their volunteers, again and again, lying about what happened on October 7th, claiming to have seen babies executed, beheaded, put in ovens, etc., which didn't happen. A lot of these stories come from Zaka and United Hatzalat. They've never apologized properly. They just say, oh, you know, it was an emotional day. And yet the media keeps using them as a source. These, these groups that have absolutely no expertise in these fields. What's astonishing is I can believe that on a day of tragedy and chaos like that, where the military are absent and complete amateurs are at crime scenes, I can get the chaos. I can get people saw things, got things wrong. But the beheaded baby story comes days later and it's perpetuated for days on end. An Israeli reporter for I-24 first says a commander told her this story. They throw in, not people don't realize this, not just 40 beheaded babies about something. Do you know that one colonel called Vash, Golan Vash, he said that he saw personally witness eight burned babies inside a kibbutz and that he personally evacuated. He carried the baby out that was beheaded. No such baby exists. That video, Basim, is still up. The video of him saying this is still up on the Israeli government's official Twitter feed. As of the day of recording today, it is still up on that feed. So this is not accidents. This is not fog of war. No. This is not just a, you know, uh, a bit my, of chaos and confusion. My, they my, deliberately took the my, most emotive subject my, my, to justify my, their genocide. My favorite is that the whole idea about like baby in ovens, with, which was repeated oh by God. Mike Johnson, who's the speaker of the house. Repeated all, very recently. Only two weeks ago, ago on but, CNN. Uh, a couple of months ago. But here's the thing, here's the thing. The way that it's like, oh, it was just like one of the rescuers where it was so shocked and traumatized. So he was misrepresented. His, with the only way that you saw something and you think it's a baby baked in oven, that you are on acid. There is no other explanation. It's not traumatization. I mean, there is another explanation. It's not traumatization. You're a liar. No, it's not. I mean, you're a liar. You're either a liar <laughs> on very, very bad drugs. This is the kind of like acid will make you see. I don't know. I haven't tried it. But this is crazy. The fact that you 
openly say baked babies in office and it's like, oh sorry, he just I got he, he, got, got he was mistaken. It got worse. They said the babies were hung on clothesline. Yeah, that's another baby. It's I mean, not, no, 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 no. But the weapon. The baby is in oven. That's different from the baby online clothes. It's different from the baby that was cut off oh, from, from a the... pregnant woman in her womb. So these are three different babies. And they're amazing. Get your facts get the, checked. Get my facts checked. But and they're all, by the way, from these volunteer groups who are then and they quoted, were all traumatized. Hold on. Who are then quoted in the New York Times, in CNN, in all the media organizations, in the BBC, without journalists in the West doing the basic work to tell their readers these guys have also said stuff that's completely discredited. Them. If you or I were eyewitnesses and made up stories like this, we would be laughed out of court, we would be laughed out of the media, we'd be laughed out of our jobs. Yet these people are still spreading the and kind yet of crap. New York Times get the Pulitzer. I just want a serious question. Funny, be serious. I, I, you are I, a father. I, can you actually be serious in this? I, I have. Can you? I'm very serious. I'm always serious. You loosen I have up. resting angry Muslim face. There, there is I no, have RAMF, Basim. I have resting angry Muslim face. Even when I'm happy, I look angry. I know, but but the situation like this is where you really have to put logic behind you. But There's I'm angry. Like, no, but I'm angry because I'm a father. You're a father. They knew what they were doing by using babies as the way to decapitated. justify. Decapitated. By the way, I should point out, recently in Rafa, we actually saw with our own eyes a decapitated baby. But they don't care. From an Israeli bomb. But they're Palestinians. But they're that, Palestinians. That cancels out. They don't count. Cancels but out. But the, the tragic irony of lying about something so horrific to then go do violence in Gaza, which actually caused real decapitated babies. But they knew what they were doing when they said babies. That emotion that went around the world. Because this is what happens. If you see a baby, what do you see? They can only do three things. Smile, cry, and poop. That's it. There's no threat. But if you go in as a person seeing a baby and you take your knife, you decap, oh. you go through the skin, the tissue, the trachea, the spine, awesome. and then you do that 40 times, those are animals. And if they're animals, they deserve what they're getting. So now we can Yove carpet Gallant. bomb everybody. Remember, Yove Gallant used the phrase animals on October 8th. Just one last point I want to say on the baby front as a journalist. One, the people who said that stuff have never been held to account. The journalists who propagated it. There's no, no. corrections. No. You know, Douglas Murray and John Potteret and all these pro-Israel pundits wrote columns in the media. There's no corrections appended. Mm. No one's gone back and put a correction at the bottom on a lot of these pieces. And number two, I've been trying to say this to American interviewers in particular for a while. When the Israeli military lie and lie and lie again to you again and again and again, at some point, don't you say, fool me once, shame on me, right? Fool me, whatever the bloody phrase is. At some point, don't you say, we've got to stop being yeah, propagandized. We've we, got to stop buying no, this we, bullshit. We say that, but like, it's people on the other side who want this comfortable lies in order to give them justification. No, I understand. To see what happens. It is, it but, is, but it we is took stupid. years to stop believing police departments yeah. when they said, oh yeah, the yeah. black man pulled a gun no, on us at the, at the traffic stop. Now we say, let's not believe the first police statement. But when Israeli generals are saying, Israeli colonels are saying, I carried a beheaded baby in my arms. You should never trust that man again. He should be laughed out of all the court of public opinion and the media. Instead, we continue to platform them and give them weird respect and deference that we wouldn't give the North Korean military already know how these or the people, Russian military. Dude, you already know how these people think. You are in a debate and you were booed when you mentioned Oxfam. So this is like people. But those are the, that's something. Those are the extremists. I'm talking about journalists who claim to be upholding democratic skepticism, journalistic oh, no, 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 fact uh, checks. That, that doesn't work anymore. That doesn't yeah, work sadly, anymore. I'm that doesn't work anymore. So, so let's talk about like, some. Uh, there, there are, there, there are lies. Let's, and so, thoughts. let's talk about a big journalistic failure. They're not even good comedians. Let's talk. 